Yo ho, yo ho, the stormy life for us. We've got some storm issues to talk about over the next several days as a couple of dynamic upper-level storm systems move across the state. The risk for severe storms looking to increase tomorrow, Sunday now, in parts of the Panhandle, and the chance for severe storms Tuesday morning into Tuesday afternoon in the eastern half of Texas. Let's talk about it in this special Saturday edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. Hello, hello, it's a brand new day. It's Saturday, the 1st of March. Hey, hey, hey. I guess I could have said month, but that would have actually been too pre-planned, and I didn't think of it until I was saying it, so it is what it is. It is Saturday. It is a beautiful day across the state of Texas. It is warm. It is windy, and guess what? We don't have storms. That is going to change going into Sunday with the opportunity for storms Sunday, Tuesday, and oh yeah, blowing dust, fires, and a lot of wind. Let's just get into it. Here is the severe weather outlook now for Sunday afternoon and early Sunday evening. The Storm Prediction Center is now highlighting the eastern Texas panhandle, northwest Texas, western Oklahoma for the potential of low-topped severe thunderstorms. This is going to be a situation where surface temperatures are only going to be in the upper 50s to around 60 degrees Fahrenheit, but the temperatures aloft in the mid-levels of the atmosphere are going to be extremely cold. That temperature differential is going to allow for a pretty substantial amount of instability, even with the cooler surface temperatures. In addition to the instability, we're going to have a lot of low-level wind shear in place. For those of you weather weenies out there, this is called a cold core setup, where we have very cold temperatures aloft, and that is going to offset the more unfavorable low-level temperature profile. So there is the potential we could actually see a few low-top tornadic supercells in the eastern Texas panhandle Sunday afternoon with the threat of a few tornadoes, localized damaging winds, and yeah, even some hail. Uh, that would be most likely from about 2 p.m. Central through probably about sunset or 7 p.m. Central-ish. Uh, storms should die off or at least decrease in intensity pretty quickly after sunset. Now, we may have a line of showers and storms move across parts of Texas, and North Texas, Northwest Texas Sunday night, but those storms are not expected to be severe. They could have small hail gusty winds, but the overall severe weather threat tomorrow in the panhandle. Now, here is Tuesday morning. We're going to actually have two graphics for Tuesday. This is going to cover the 1 a.m. Tuesday through sunrise, 7 a.m. Tuesday time frame. We're becoming more concerned about the threat of a developing line of strong to severe storms in association with a dry line that'll be moving from west to east across the state. The potential will exist given strong low-level wind shear and a pretty dynamic upper-level storm system that we could see damaging straight-line winds and maybe an embedded tornado risk with the stronger storms in the squall line, maybe some hail, as that squall line moves from west to east. Tuesday morning. Most models have this line of storms developing around midnight to 1 a.m. Tuesday across northwest Texas, the big country, the eastern Permian Basin, down to Interstate 10 in the Concho Valley. Storms would then move east through Tuesday morning into Texoma, north Texas, the hill country, uh, before sunrise Tuesday, potentially bringing a threat of severe storms into DFW uh, around 3 to 6 a.m. Tuesday. After that, we would anticipate storms to continue moving east across northeast Texas, central Texas, east Texas, the Brazos Valley, down to the Golden Triangle with a continued threat of damaging straight-line winds, embedded tornadic circulations, and maybe some hail with the most intense storms. Now, if we're dealing with a squall line, Damaging winds will be the primary threat here, but embedded tornadoes could also occur, especially given the low-level winds profile. So we need to keep an eye out. Again, this is going to be a mostly late-night, early-morning event initially, so it's going to be quiet most of Monday. It's going to be quiet Monday evening, and then storms are going to get going after midnight Tuesday, and then we're off to the races. So we're going to need to keep a very close eye on things as we may be doing... Uh, well, severe weather coverage in the middle of Tuesday morning at like 3 a.m. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll keep you updated throughout the weekend, that is for sure. Let's take a look at the high-res rapid refresh model for 
tomorrow. This shows a arcing line of strong to severe storms in the Texas panhandle. You can see how some of those cellular storms rotate around the east side of a surface low, eastern portions of the panhandle, uh, late afternoon. And again, some of those storms may become tornadic and severe. Otherwise, we're expecting an arcing line of thunderstorms to move east across northwest Texas, Texoma, north Texas, late Sunday evening into early Monday morning. Those storms are not expected to be severe, but could have gusty winds, some rain, and small hail. Uh, by the way, we're going to have fog, too, Monday morning across a good chunk of Texas, so uh, gear up for that. Now, let's take a look at Tuesday. Most of Monday afternoon, Monday evening is quiet. Scattered showers, eastern two-thirds of Texas, Monday afternoon, evening. Going into Tuesday, we're expecting a line of storms to quickly develop around or just after midnight Tuesday and along the lean edge of a dry line across northwest Texas, the big country, the Concho Valley. Those storms will move east quickly with the potential of some of those storms being severe with damaging winds, embedded tornadic circulations, brief tornadoes, hail, and heavy rain. Storms will not last long at a particular location with a very strong upper-level jet streak overhead, helping to push all this activity east very quickly. Once that line of storms is through your location, it will clear incredibly quickly with strong westerly winds. By Tuesday afternoon, the entire state of Texas will be under sunny skies, strong west winds. We could have blowing dust and a pretty high fire danger. Uh... While we're talking storms here, we're also going to be dealing with fire weather issues tomorrow, Monday, and Tuesday west of the dry line. Today, you can see moderate to locally high fire danger across the northwestern two-thirds of the state. Sunday, the western half of Texas has very high to extreme fire danger, and same thing Monday. And again, this will include the potential for some more significant wildfire activity, extended attack operations, which means fires may not be under control within the initial attack period, the first day. So this could also include some fires that go well beyond the several hundred to thousand acre mark, and we could start dealing with larger fires. So please be mindful of that. Uh, otherwise, again, Saturday, guess what? We do have elevated fire danger across the state, but we're going to be quiet for the rest of the day outside of some gusty winds. Uh, in addition to the fire danger, tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, western half of the state, blowing dust at times, gusty west winds. And then Tuesday, that blowing dust may actually move east across the entire state with strong westerly winds behind the very quick dynamic storm system. As always, you can get your local texas weather forecast interactive weather radar daily texas weather roundups and more in the free texas storm chasers mobile app just search for texas storm chasers where you download apps for your device you can also find us on the web texasstormchasers.com and if you're interested in receiving more localized personalized weather alerts from yours truly check out our weather call next gen partnership you can find information on that in the description box below you can get phone calls information all that so that's a service we're now offering otherwise make sure you do have ways to receive severe weather warnings over the next few days uh local tv stations you know outdoor warning sirens with the emphasis on outdoor uh wireless emergency alert stuff like that so we'll keep you updated we'll have another video out tomorrow morning with the latest forecast and as always you can find us on social media y'all have a great evening god bless mm -hmm.